What's up, everybody, and welcome to Clown Live! It is Tuesday, it is 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we are live, okay? This is an Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons, and I'm your host, Dragon Blaker. You can call me Blake. What up, though? Yo, I see, let me cough. Sorry, I yelled a lot. Hold on. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Let me take a little sip of water and then we'll greet everybody in the chat that joined at the top of today's show, like Stargazer. What up, though? I hope you're doing great. Thanks for popping out today. Also, uh, I see Vicky popped in. Yo, Vicky, I went and saw some of your streams. Uh, I watched some of your back catalog of streams. I saw you did the tarot video and uh, I noticed that you were having a lot of frame drops. And then I watched another one. You did a really, really short video. It was like like a really short um, live stream. It was like 20 minutes or 14 or 20 minutes or something. And it was just like things that I like. And you only had like four or maybe six items in your carousel. But I'm just telling you that because I am out there watching your content. So if you're still here now, just uh, I hope you hear that, okay? I'm out here watching you when I see you live. I think you're doing a great job. Uh, Evans, what's up? I hope that you're doing very well. Much clown love. Woo woo. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that's what's going on. That's what's going on. Um, my internet is the worst. Apparently, uh, you could do a speed test and see how much data you're uploading and then, uh, correct your OBS accordingly. However, don't even listen to me actually about any of that because I don't use OBS. I don't use OBS. I use StreamYard and StreamYard is excellent for slower computers or maybe like, uh, maybe janky internet connections, maybe. Uh, I use StreamYard. It's really, really easy to use. <clears throat> but uh, in my defense, I've been using it for several years and I've been growing with the platform, okay? But StreamYard, it's a really excellent platform that does all of the processing of your content server side. So it doesn't take any resources from your computer. Essentially what you're doing in a nutshell, this is a very, very basic nutshell. You're just streaming your webcam to that, to that website. And then it's putting it all out for you. But that's like a poor explanation because um, StreamYard allows you to have RTMP connections. So you can connect it to Amazon live. You can connect it to Twitch. You can connect it to YouTube. Uh, you can connect it to Facebook Live. There's a few other services that you can connect it to. And with the ability to have uh, RTMP streaming enabled, uh, you can really just restream to one thing like restream.io and cover all of the social media platforms that uh, you're connected to. 
But uh, yeah, there are free plans that you can use to test StreamYard and see if you like it. Now it does up here in this corner put a, 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 a logo. I'll show you the logo, okay? This is the powered by StreamYard logo, all right? And it, uh, it shows by default on free accounts and there's no ability to hide it. They're putting their name out there. You're getting a free service, but when you pay for it and they have a basic, they have a basic plan, they have the free plan, the basic plan, and then they have the professional plan. <clears throat> I use the basic plan. It does everything that I need it to. Uh, I've been with them for a few years. So I got in uh, when they had this promotion that was allowing me to have this. As long as I maintain the same account, I'll have a lifetime annual discount for life, for life. They, they're they advertising that it's not going to go away. Uh, and it's been a couple years. It hasn't gone away. So it's been pretty helpful to me. And uh, I think that... Uh, yeah, free is cool. Free is definitely cool if you want to test it out to do some live streams. But like I said, they do put that StreamYard watermark on all of your streams unless you pay. And furthermore, about the free account, okay, is um, with the free account, you're also limited to a certain amount of hours. And I think it's like 20 hours or something like that. Uh, and then if you were to run out of free hours you just sign up another email account associate it with your social media that is relevant and uh and then carry on with another free trial so you really truly can have infinitely free trials and it's only 20 hours a month so if you have like one account and you exceed the 20 hours and you have an alt that you use another 20 hours on if you only do 40 hours in a month you can go back to alt one you don't need like 100 emails for 100 different shows you know what i'm saying uh i could talk about Streamyard all day all day i know it very well i like it a lot <clears throat> it can be pretty powerful and uh like here's an example like today i'm doing my show solo right but i'm gonna bring in the second camera today so we'll have the second camera but now you could look at this in the way that like uh, you have different guests on the way that i have this second camera the box the box table whatever camera two the way that i have camera two set up is that i have Streamyard open in my browser tab i'm logged in i'm logged in uh on tab one. Okay. I have two tabs open on my first tab. I'm logged in. I've got my OBS bot, my camera number one, my main account set up here, ready to go. And then I open the exact same StreamYard link in another tab. Uh, and I imported, uh, I, I just changed my settings to a different camera and, uh, that's camera two, right? So we have camera two down here and, um, camera two is essentially acting as a guest, right? So if you do like talk shows or hang out with friends online and want to broadcast those types of things, or maybe you have a podcast, dude, like I said, I could talk StreamYard all day. There's a lot, a lot of great advantages to using StreamYard, especially for older computers, okay? Especially for older computers, especially for people who, um, like me, I can relate to myself wholeheartedly. Just like, I don't know, I'm not an unintelligent person and I don't fail generally to understand things, but there's just, I don't, I can't even articulate what it is, but there's something about OBS that seems overwhelming to me and I, and I just can't seem to get it to function the way that I want it to. Right. So I've kind of like, I'm not trying to put OBS behind me. I still want to learn it, but it's like, it's all self-taught and I just don't prioritize motivation for learning OBS, but you know, I got to say, it looks like I watch all types of StreamYard streams and this one doesn't look unlike any other stream. Very, very good. Um, <clears throat> and then with the paid account, you can stream to just a couple of sites at the same time. Uh, and then with the professional account, you can stream to more sites and get more options. So really, really cool. Haha, ha, oh man, I haven't thought about AOL in so long. I think my ISP spectrum just throttles me sometimes. So yeah, I'll have to check out the frame rate issue and maybe then check out StreamYard. I got rid of spectrum for that reason, Vicky. I have TDS fiber. I don't know anything about spectrum or TDS fiber, uh, but I know that I pay for a cable connection that is um, 40 down, 40 megabits down and 10 up. 
and I generally don't have any major issues with streaming. And I'm going to move on from StreamYard now after I say this, okay? One final thing about StreamYard is that, um, look at this, look at this. I got this old, old computer. Let me, uh, this prompts me to take care of some business here real quick. I got to open this. I always forget. And uh, let me move my camera manually here. Here, let me stop. Okay. And then let me full screen myself here and uh, show you my show you my place. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right, so this computer on the floor here is a first generation i5. And with this computer, I did like two and a half years of streaming almost daily with StreamYard. And I could host up to 10 guests. And uh, there's lots of abilities for different overlays. You can upload all different types of... Um, <clears throat> you can upload all different types of content. Now, all that I have as far as... Well, actually, I have two different things. Look at this. So I've got my overlay. Okay, I've got an overlay like this. We use these at the beginning of the show, but then also I've got these overlays that are transparent that show the unmute and follow button uh, or the, the uh, whatever, the, uh, the picture here, the information in this image is displayed here. And what this is, what this is, okay, this is a 1280 by 720 transparent overlay. And then only this is what is showing on my thing. So when it comes to StreamYard, all right, you don't have the ability to like in real time move assets around. You're going to want to preset your asset and then upload it as an image, right? That's what I'm trying to say. So look, this is what I was testing the other day. We, we put our unmute and follow button up here now, but just the, earlier in the week, I was looking at it like this. We had it down here. It doesn't look too bad at the bottom, but it is kind of like a little hidey. I don't know. It doesn't look too bad, you know, as it sits on top of the banner here. But uh, <clears throat> but I recognize that uh, when people are looking at the video, probably one of the first places they're going to look is up and to the left, right? So this is kind of where I'm wanting them to take a peek initially. Now, okay, uh, do, 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 do. okay, I'm glad you guys got to talk a lot about internet. Hopefully, Vicky, you'll have an opportunity to improve your internet if that is what you need to do. Now, with all of that, I'm so grateful for y'all to join me today. We are about to get into products. I'm going to drink a little bit more water, and then uh, we're going to get it on. We're going to get it on with the live stream here on Clown Live. I've been thinking about wanting to make new logos for the show. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me drink some water here. <clears throat> I've been thinking about wanting to make new logos for the show, but I'm like so self-destructive. I had to. I had this deadline for some videos to make, and I didn't do it. And I feel so bad. I've got to get um, some self-motivation and get some work done. I need to make some uh, shoppable videos. I'm like feeling the deadline heat because it's consumed me. I'm past my deadline. I need to get my work done. All right. Now with all of that established, I just am so as always extremely grateful for everybody here to join me. Uh, I see six people in the app says it's watching. So thumbs up to the lurkers and thank you to the people that can hear me for watching. Now let's transition into today's show. We got about 22 things in the carousel to take a look at today. And the first thing that we're going to start with is going to be this EF EcoFlow uh, River 2. <clears throat> now the EF EcoFlow River 2. Oh, let's get our uh box camera in here. Okay, great. Okay, so this is the EF EcoFlow River 2 portable power station. This is a 256 watt hour LifePo 4 portable battery. Okay. Uh, it's extremely light. I can hold it up with one finger. It has, like I said, 256 watt hours in it. It features a grounded plug and a non-grounded plug, as well as two USB outs and a USB-C out. These are USB-A ports out. It's USB-C, as well as a cigarette lighter out, an auxiliary power out adapter. And all of these are turned on by pressing these switches, okay? 
<clears throat> and the display on the device is extremely easy to understand. All right. We have 99 hours left on our current draw, which is zero. Uh, now we have 57 hours. It'll go back up to 99 in a second, even though we have zero because we have zero draw. Right. So 99 hours with zero draw, 100 percent battery life left over. And these two triple stack, uh, these two digit, uh, excuse me, these two triple digit numbers that are stacked on top of each other represent on the top voltage going into the device and um, uh, wattage, wattage being put into the device, as well as wattage being pulled from the device on the bottom triple digit number. Okay. What's up, Lex? Thank you so much for following. If you hear the sound of my voice, please feel free to say anything in the chat. Uh, we are hanging out today. We just started the show. We're going to be here for about two hours and we got a lot of great products to talk about today. So thank you for following if you're watching. Uh, and yeah, that's what's up with that. So <clears throat> the River 2 is pretty great. It is basically the smallest battery that EcoFlow offers uh, at this time. And as I was saying, uh, it does represent, it does have a number on the top representing how many watts are going into the device. And you can charge this by plugging it into the wall with the included wall plug, okay, that comes with the kit as well as it comes with another plug that is like a auxiliary power port for your car so like you can plug it into your cigarette lighter adapter and charge this uh also the ef ecoflow river 2 supports a 110 volt solar panel that you can click through the carousel and navigate to the ef ecoflow store to learn more about pretty cool with really efficient um, with really great sun and efficiency on the solar panel, you can charge this in about four hours. But when you plug it into the wall, it's going to charge in just under an hour. Now, EcoFlow claims that from zero to 100 percent, it's 60 minutes and maybe later in its life. That might be the case. I don't know. But I always get this charge within like 55 minutes from a zero percent charge. <clears throat> All right. The other day. It's cool that it has a solar panel. Yeah, it's really cool, the solar panel with the EF EcoFlow. Now, it, it maybe it bears repeating that the smallest battery by EcoFlow, okay, this River 2 unit, supports that 110-volt panel, right? Uh, but there are larger panels for larger batteries that are made by EcoFlow. So uh, that 110-volt panel, it is compatible with other batteries, but with the River 2, it's only compatible with the 110 volt solar panel. Sorry, I had a little brain fart there. Okay, now one thing that I recognize about this today is that it's listed for $199, which is an ultra deal. I think all week it's been listed for $239 uh, and it had a $30 clickable coupon. But today it's on like this great deal. Uh, 199, 199, no coupon today, no coupon. So even with the, even with the coupon, okay. <clears throat> excuse me. The river two is regularly $289. And, and the other day, yesterday, when it was $239, it still had a $30, uh, clickable coupon. Okay. So you could have got it for 209. Today, you can save an additional $10. It's available for $199, okay? So very, very cool. I like that a lot. Um, EcoFlow, hitting you with the deals. Okay, now let's keep it moving here on the show. Uh, where are we at? Okay, we're right here. Let's talk about another product that I really love in the carousel now, and that's going to be the Soundcore Rave Neo 2, okay? This thing is pretty pretty phenomenal. I'm going to talk about it a little bit deeper when I get up to the table. Okay. <clears throat> Where do we see party proof? That's not, that's not so bad. Okay. I mean, that's really, I don't know. I got to have it more flat. I can't worry about how party proof looks. Hey, what's up, June? Thanks for popping out, man. You know, we just started our second of 22 products today. You're right in time for the show. Uh, I know that you don't always stick around the most, but I appreciate that you popped in right now to say what's up, man. It's Tuesday. We're in the grind. We're talking products. We're talking great streaming software, uh, whether it's OBS uh, that uses all your systems resources uh, and is a great, robust, amazing piece of software um, compared to like other online services like StreamYard. 
I'm kind of going StreamYard because I know it a little bit better. I've been trying to learn OBS, man. It's hard, bro. It's hard. It makes it hard for me to learn. And then and then when it becomes hard, I feel frustrated. And then I'm just like, ah, I'm already streaming with this thing. Whatever, dude. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, what's up, June? Thanks for coming out. Now, we are talking about the Soundcore. Um, I almost said Motion Boom, but this isn't the Motion Boom Plus. This is the Soundcore Rave Neo 2. Now, what's really great about the Rave Neo 2 is that it has this nice soft grip handle that's black on the top and blue on the bottom. Feels kind of like a little faux leathery. It's kind of like nice and soft. <clears throat> now, the Rave Neo 2 is IP67 wet water resistant and is buoyant. So if you drop this into the water, it's going to float, even though it's pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy because it has a big powered sub in it, as well as two powered tweeters. This is really loud. I love the beat-driven light show that is built into the Soundcore Rave Neo 2. Now, the Rave Neo 2, it is 80 watts. It's 80 watts of power. There's no passive bass on this like the Motion Boom Plus, for example, which is another great Anchor Soundcore product. The Rave Neo 2 is available today for $180, okay? It's $179.99 today. Let me click through my thing and see if we got a, a coupon. Can we get a coupon on this boy? No coupon today. That's okay. The Rave Neo 2 is available for $180. It's really loud. It sounds really good. I love the light show on this. Um, there's a lot of light shows on a lot of speakers. I just got to repeat myself again that I really enjoy the aesthetic and the light show on the Soundcore Rave Neo 2. And this is really loud too. We're going to skip the demo today, but uh, I love the Rave Neo 2. It's it even though it's 80 watts, okay, the same as even though it's 80 watts, the same as the um the same as the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus, which I got that one right here. I got the Motion Boom Plus right here. Okay. Oh, the wrong side. So these are both 80 watt speakers. These are both Soundcore products. They're both the same price, okay, at regular average retail value. These both run 180 bucks a pop. Uh, but there's but this one is way heavier. This one is way heavier than the uh, than the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus. And also, let me check this box here real quick. This is dual pair. Yeah, so the other day, the other day on Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, maybe like a week or two ago, who knows? But recently on Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, um, I was talking to Nate about his Soundcore Rave Party 2. He has the Rave Party 2 by Soundcore. And I was like, oh, you can double pair your phone to it for like party mode and whatnot. And he's like, really, really? And I was just making the assumption that that feature was on several of the Soundcore devices. But I don't think that's the case. I don't think that's the case. The limited research that I've done, <clears throat> pardon me, the limited research that I've done indicates that uh, this is one of the few devices that does dual pairing. So with the Rave Neo, with the Rave Neo 2, you can pair two different Bluetooth devices to this uh, at the same time, which I think is pretty cool. If you all are at parties and you just want to throw your music at it, very, very sweet option. So where are we having the next rave? I'm invited, right? Vicky, I'm in Canada, but when I get in my vehicle and start driving, I'm only a 20-minute drive to Detroit. So if you're near Michigan, we can party. We can party. Let me know. Um, you don't have to tell me where you're at. I'm not trying to dox you or anything, but I'm just saying I'm near Michigan in Canada and uh, we can rave. We can rave. Uh, but yeah, so the Rave Neo 2, it's going to offer you up to 18 hours of playback and uh, it has a nice rubber kind of grommet on, on the back to ensure that IP67 water resistance. And when you open this, and I know I'm kind of standing a little far back, but you can see, maybe you can see that it features a USB-C in to charge the Rave Neo 2, a USB out to charge devices to keep the party going. And if you can't connect via Bluetooth, it does feature a three and a half millimeter audio port that acts as an in, okay? It's auxiliary in. And that's super great. Um, okay, one thing that I always like mentioning also, and then we're going to move on, about the Rave Neo 2, okay, is that it looks like this. Okay, so that's the Soundcore Rave Neo 2 by Anchor. It's available today for $180, and it's got a four-and-a-half-star rating with four, four reviews. 
Uh, yeah, I'll give this four and a half stars. I haven't used it outside yet. You know, I started um, I started Amazon live streaming right when the weather turned like pretty poor for the uh, for the winter, and I just haven't um, I just haven't been outside to do anything fun. So I'm real excited to take some of these things outside and uh, and try them. Am I late for the rave, James? You're just in time, actually. I hope you brought the speakers. I hope you brought the speakers. Uh, I mean, I got the Soundcore Rave Neo 2. This is going to be great, you know, for the pre-party. You know what I'm saying? But uh, when it comes down to the big bass, I know that you got the hookup. So this, uh, I know you got a little bit more than the 80 watts that I'm holding uh, in my hand with this beautifully driv uh, beat-driven LED light show. All right. Okay, now what's the next one? We're going to talk some EXA headphones. All right, I got you. What's up, James? Thanks for popping out today. I think, did I say anything in your chat today? I definitely watched a few minutes of it. I definitely watched a few minutes of your show today. Usually, usually um, I wake up like in the morning for bio break, you know, because I've been sleeping for a while. And uh, usually during bio break, even in, even in my tired state of tiredness, even during bio break, I'm like staring at my phone. I'm like a machine. Uh, oh, I'm around 13,000 RMS watts. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So the, the, uh, Vicky, if you're still here, the rave is going to be, uh, at James's. That's where the, uh, that's where the uh, thing is. I was super, super early today and not sure I was blanking out also. Yeah. I, I always try to watch you. I like sleep poorly. I sleep poorly. So pretty often I'll like, I'll go to bed at a poor time, you know, and then wake up like in the middle of the night at like five or six or seven o'clock in the morning. And then, like, I'll sit on the couch and stare at my phone for a few minutes, which is so counterproductive to going back to sleep. Like, I should just go back to sleep instead of staring at my phone for, like, an hour. Sometimes I'll go directly to bed and just stare at my phone for, like, two hours and be like, well, I guess I'm not going back to sleep today. It's time to get up. But, um, yeah, I'm always checking you out. I'm always watching you. I'm going to try to always be commenting on your shows, okay, when I'm in your chats. But... For now, let's drink water, okay, together, James, if you're drinking. If anybody's drinking, let's rehydrate our beautiful vocal cords. Um, I mean, just said that, sound familiar as she looks at me and my sleep pattern. Oh, um, yeah, well, when you're an Amazon Live content creator, it don't stop, baby. We're always, always doing something. Uh, I feel like I'm constantly on Amazon since I learned about all the live streams and everything. I could just imagine, uh, I, I could just imagine your wife like gandering over there. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I got the worst sleep. I'll talk about it a little bit more, and then we're gonna talk about this trucker Bluetooth headset that I've got from Exa Telecom. This is gonna be uh, this is gonna be the Exa Telecom H1 that we're gonna talk about. But yeah, dude, I got the worst sleep, man. I'll go to bed at like, say, I don't know. I don't know. The daylight savings time kind of changed things a little bit. But I'm so fortunate to do the majority of my work in the afternoon. Like, it didn't really affect me. The other day when we switched over from on, on Sunday the 12th at 2 a.m. When it went from 1.59 a.m. to 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We actually just put on prints 1999 and then uh, and then we uh, watched the world clock like some digital timer online, like the real time. And uh, yeah, that was whatever. That was a silly little thing we did. But yeah, now that it's been ultra late, like I'll go to bed anytime. I'll go to bed anytime between like usually after 2 a.m. I'm usually going to go to bed after 2 a.m., maybe like three, you know. And then I might get up around like, say, seven or eight o'clock in the morning and then and then uh, and then stay awake for like an hour or two and then maybe sleep a little bit again until noon. Maybe I'll sleep a little bit until noon and almost almost every single day after the live stream. Forget it. I'm going right to sleep. It doesn't matter how hard I try not to sleep. When the show's over, I clean up all the studio stuff, put the lights and cameras away, and then I sit in my favorite spot in the house and recline, and I just watch videos, and it's like, no, you're sleeping, bud. And I, I try not to, 
but I just, I can't help it. I can't help it. I love sleeping. Leslie Bowling says, can I use this on a laptop deck to extend for three monitors? What are we talking about? Can I use this on a laptop deck to extend for three monitors? What are we talking about? What do you see in my carousel? Uh, is it the KYY portable monitor? Is it the, is that what you're talking about? Is it the pluggable USB 3.0 or USB-C to dual HDMI adapter? Leslie, if you, yeah, I think the pluggable too, James. Leslie, if you're in the chat and you want to talk about this product that I've just highlighted in my carousel, let me know and we can talk about it. I didn't even start this yet. We can talk about this anytime, but I'd love to talk to you about the pluggable USB 3. I'll grab it right now real quick and we'll just cover it on the assumption <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll cover it on the assumption that this is, in fact, what's happening here. Okay. So um, the pluggable, I think. Oh, that's you. That's you, James. Okay. Let's drink some more water, and then we'll talk about the pluggable right now. Okay. In fact, Leslie, yes, you can utilize this pluggable USB 3 or USB C to dual HDMI adapter into your laptop to extend. Oh, uh, have a good time playing games, James. Thank you so much for popping out. Um, James Games sounds like a great segment for your show. You should play some games and just do James Games. James Games. Okay, anyway, enjoy your time away from Clown Live. And don't forget, James, I'm always here every weekday. All right, now, uh, Leslie, if you are here, this is what I'm talking about. The pluggable USB. Here, let's put the box down. And let's talk about the actual product. Okay, let's just lay it down for a second. Okay, all right. So this is it. This is the. It's a really small device. It's smaller than my the length of my fingers. Okay, and uh, it is exactly as described on the box. It's a USB three, or it comes with a little adapter on a little uh, attachment here, uh, or USB C. Really easy to plug in. It's a little adapter. <clears throat> to dual HDMI out. Now, what's great about the pluggable is that it does support resolutions up to 4K. Just want to look at this uh, real quick and, and familiarize myself with these statistics. Uh, okay, USB 3.0, good for Windows 10 or Mac OS 10.14 plus. Okay, now HDMI port one on this device will put out a 4K signal up to 30 Hertz, okay? And on HDMI port two, you can get up to 1080p at 60 hertz. So you can do a dual 1080p at 60 hertz dual. You can do that twice, like with both of these, with both of these um, HDMI ports. Uh, this is pretty good. This is really small. It's really compact. It does exactly what it says it's designed to do. I, I, um, I, I, I use this for a short while because I'm using a docking station that I'm going to get into a little bit later uh, in the show. I mean, if you're here, we can talk about it as well. But I see you haven't replied to me talking directly to you about this. So maybe you're not here. So I might just jump back in my carousel and then go in order. But yeah, uh, USB-C or USB-3 to dual HDMI out. HDMI port one supports up to 4K at 30 hertz. Well, both ports support uh, 1080p at 60 hertz with the second HDMI port only supporting that maximum resolution. This is really cool. It's available today for $59 and it has uh, a four and a half star rating with just under with just over 450 ratings, okay? And this is regularly 65 bucks. It's on for 9% off today. So you can get a little deal on this, uh, making it $59. <clears throat> you can use this to plug it into your television. Anything that's HDMI, I'll spare you the, uh, the details of examples. But anything that has an HDMI input, these are dual HDMI outs, okay? I like this product a lot. I hope... Leslie, if you're here, that this helps you or that it did help you, okay? Now, let's keep moving. We're going to go backwards a little bit in our carousel, and we're going to start talking about these EXA products. You know, when going in order, it helps keep things a little bit organized. Now, 
This is a really quick product that we can talk about that is pretty cool. This is the Exa Telcom H1 headset. Now, what this is, is an environmental noise canceling headset that comes with a really nice cinch sack. Okay, it's got orange ropes with black beads. It's a gray bag with some uh, Exa branding on it and social media contact on the back. Very cool. Oh my goodness, get this. Amazon will now text you a passcode for receiving a package every order. They will text you a passcode for receiving a package every order. Did that is that good? Is that a good thing? I don't quite I'm looking at it. I'm seeing okay, I'm ordering, I'm ordering. I've ordered. Now the package is coming. Now the package is coming. So what does that mean? Now when somebody delivers the pack, how do I get the package? They put the passcode on my order information, actually, and I called, and she said they will text and ask for the passcode. Maybe you could offer me a little more detail on what you're saying. Um, it's inconvenient. It's inconvenient. Uh, please engage with me and explain to me in a little more detail why you feel that way. I'd like to know a little bit about it. If it has something to do with Amazon, it's worth uh, me getting a little bit of knowledge about it. And while you may be typing that message, I'm going to carry on with the trucker headset. It is that noise envir environmental noise canceling headset by EXA that we are talking about now. Now, what's great about this headset is that it is bi-directional. So you can wear it on the right side. You can also wear it on the left side. Okay. Now the microphone has uh, 270 degrees of rotation. It has volume buttons up and down, as well as a Bluetooth pairing button and a microphone button on the microphone itself to mute that mic. Now, what Exa Telcom loves to um, say about this is that it's designed to be up to 100 feet away from the device that it's communicating with, and it has an algorithm built into it in order to reduce road noise to deliver the clearest call that you can to the person that you're speaking with. Uh, and being a trucker headset, it does have a nice noise isolation um, cup, okay? A very soft cup that goes around your ear very comfortably. And the only place for length adjustment, for height adjustment for your ears is on the side that has the cup, okay? So we can adjust here, but not here. But on the temple side or on the, on the non-cup side, it does offer some rotation on the, uh, on the part that, touches the side of your head, okay? So that you can be as comfortable as you need to be. I think that's pretty much it. I feel like there was one thing that I wanted to say that I'm not. Algorithm. No, that's good. It's good for up to 100 feet, I think it is the claim. And the Trucker Bluetooth headset, it's a headset for phones like front desk people. Yeah, it's maybe like that. It is, it's similar, but this one has a special algorithm stargazer that reduces road noise to deliver a clear, crisp call. You don't need that algorithm when you're in the office, okay? Unless your office is a rig slamming down the road at 60 miles an hour, okay? <laughs> okay, jokes aside, let me catch up on what you're saying here because I am interested. Oh, what is the point of only having one ear? Uh, yeah, I don't know if I said it out loud or not. I think that's the thing that I didn't address. And that's what's great about this being for truckers is that you do have a noise isolation cup to receive a crisp and clear call, all right? But uh, on the side that has no cup, this is designed to let you be aware of your spatial surroundings, right? When, uh, when you get out of the vehicle, you don't want two cups isolating all the noise on the side of the road or uh, whatever. And that is, that is the... Uh, that is the deal. That's the deal. The deal is that uh, there's no additional cups that you can be aware of your spatial surroundings. Like I said, the Exit Telcom environmental noise canceling headset model H1 here is kind of like something that they uh, like they refer to it right in the carousel as the trucker Bluetooth headset. So I think that this one is designed with a little more business in mind um, and like a little less like maybe gaming, right? Because we're going to take a look next at another Exa uh, gaming headset. And it's like the complete opposite of this essentially, right? So, okay, let's move on from the trucker headset. It's available today for $90 and it has a four-star rating with, um, with uh, excuse me, 
four stars. Uh, excuse, let me say that again. I apologize. It has a four star rating with uh, 101 reviews. Okay, so we do have some more EXA uh, products that we're going to take a look at together right now. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to advance my carousel. I got to bounce, but have an awesome stream. Hey, thank you so much, Vicky. If you're still here, do you know when you're going to go live next? And uh, can you tell me so that I can try to be like prepared to watch? Because uh, I'd love to know. And and of course, if you are still here, don't forget to put your link in the chat. Uh, people who may not have followed you potentially could. So feel free to promote yourself before you leave for real. All right. So now let's talk about this other EXA product that we've got in the carousel today. Okay. Um, no schedule. That's okay. You don't have to have a, a schedule, but maybe uh, maybe you'll develop one. Maybe you'll develop one eventually. Um, yes. Uh, yeah. I'm always trying to uh, see who's live and watch them when I have the ability. All right. Have a great day, Vicky. Thanks for popping out. I feel confident. I'll see you again very soon. So, all right. Now we're going to talk about the EXA E1000 gaming headset. Now what's cool about this headset is is that it has a really nice cable. It's got a lot of nice features, but instantly it's got a really nice cable and this cable is braided, okay? It's like braided nylon. So it feels a little bit more textured than like your common, more standard, like rubberized or plasticky feeling um, uh, cable uh, covers, right? It connects to your devices via USB. I think that's very important. It is one of the most important things I think to note about the Exit E1000s. So this will connect to your video game consoles via USB, uh, to your PC, anything that supports that USB uh, plug, okay? And this USB 2.0 and... Um, Okay, so also uh, they're made out of a lot of plastic, but the cups are held to the headband with a metal strip uh, in your in the area that you can adjust the headphones. And look, they have a really, really thick cushion on the top of the headset. I like that as well. And that cushioning carries down to the cups here. The cups also are very squishy. I like that they're uh, very plush. Uh, the black is accented with the white, and the white is really nice. Uh, it's the same material. And then uh, when we put these on, they feel pretty good. Uh, these don't have quite as big of um, an ear opening as some other headphones that I have. So I do feel the tops of my ears get like pressed a little against the side of my head, which is uh, just like not my personal preference. Some people, I don't think they have a problem with that. And uh, yeah, so let me take this off because I can barely hear myself. These cups excel at offering you that noise isolation experience it's got a microphone built into it that when you put it up does not mute because the exa e1000 features an inline volume control as well as microphone mute button that's your mute switch and then there's your dial for adjusting volume very very cool now the exa e1000s these are going to have 50 millimeter drivers and feature artificial 7.1 simulated surround sound okay so the, the 7.1 surround sound is a pretty nice feature with these really big 50 millimeter drivers. <clears throat> and finally, uh, before I tell you about the price, uh, they are branded on the cup on both sides and this white border around the, uh, around the cup. Uh, these illuminate RGB when you plug them into uh, a source, into a USB source or a power source. So very, very cool. I like these headphones because of how squishy and thick the uh, headphone, the headphones, head rest, okay? Uh, band, memory band, phone band is here. I'm, I'm slipping on EXA. So we got to move on from EXA because I'm losing it. The EXA E1000s though, they are available today for $30. And that is a really excellent deal. This is 25% off of the average retail value of $40. So save $10 today on EXA E1000s. These make a great replacement for headphones at home uh, or a perfect gift for anybody that plays a lot of games. All right, now let's keep it moving here. We just talked about the pluggable USB 3.0 to dual HDMI uh, for Leslie a moment ago. So now we're going to keep it moving here. And we're going to talk about, I guess I grabbed the Bluetooth of that device. Okay, so this is going to be the pluggable Bluetooth device. Okay, this is what the box looks like. And uh, this, is, uh, ver this is a Bluetooth 5.0 standard. And this pluggable Bluetooth 5 adapter supports Bluetooth Classic 
and Bluetooth low energy. And when used with a Bluetooth 5 device, the range of the adapter can reach up to 40 meters indoors compared to the 10 meter range of previous Bluetooth standards. So this does, uh, this is pretty great. I've got it plugged into my computer right now. So I'm just going to unplug a similarly looking dongle because this one is easier to reach. And uh, this dongle is actually designed for my, uh, this is a receiver for my wireless keyboard, but this is the exact identical looking device. It's just a little USB uh, port uh, adapter with uh, with a little Bluetooth dongle on it. So really, really cool and easy to use. It's plug and play. Uh, all right, now let me plug this back into my PC here. This way. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, so that's the Bluetooth device. Really easy to talk about that. It's available today for $12.95. So $13 for this, and it has a four and a half star rating with 68 reviews. I plug this into my docking station. It works super easy. Uh, and I get that extended range with the 5.0 Bluetooth. So I like this a lot. All right, now let's talk about the pluggable docking station, okay? <clears throat> the pluggable USB 3.0 to dual monitor docking station is available today for $119. And this has a four and a half star rating with over 11,000 reviews. All right. Traditionally, the average retail value of the dual monitor docking station is $165. Like I said, today it's available on deal for $119. Now, what you get with this device is going to be I've got mine hiding, okay? I've got mine hiding. It's hard to kind of pull it out sometimes because um, because uh, it's hard to pull it out sometimes because it's kind of like tucked away, okay? Let me see if I could pull my – let me pull this out a little bit. There it is. There it is. All right, so here it is chilling behind the desk right now. And this is the pluggable USB. Now there's a big white piece. <laughs> there's a big uh, piece that is obstructing this thing, man. Uh, let me pull it out just a bit. I got to be real careful. Okay, now on the back of the pluggable USB 3.0 to dual monitor dock, you get four USB 2.0 ports as well as an Ethernet port, a DVI port, HDMI out, Display port, uh, display link port, as well as an AC port to uh, plug in and power this device. And on the front of it, uh, you get two USB 3.0 ports, as well as a headphone jack and a dedicated microphone jack. Uh, I like the display port. I like the pluggable dual monitor docking station very well. I use it to uh, power a, a monitor. Um, and then I did have some problems in regard to overscan with a TV that is over 10 years old. Okay. So what I ended up doing was just unplugging the HDMI out from the, from the docking station. And I plugged it directly into the laptop, but, uh, any other monitor that I've plugged into this, it just worked very well. And I had no problems with, um, with uh with displays or over scans or things like that just this old tv gave me an issue and then as soon as i plugged it into the to the laptop it was no problem so yeah i like this it and all of these things connect on this on the uh, docking station to a single usb 3.0 connection right so uh really great really great product i kind of i was thinking of something to say but uh that, then I changed my mind. So the pluggable dual monitor docking station is available today for $119. It's a really, really good device uh, that I use every single day. It replaces me plugging things into my hub and makes a simple one cable solution to unplug your laptop from your battle station and be on the go. So I really like that a lot. All right, now let's talk about some products that we've just started talking about recently on the show. I think there's only like the second or third time they're going to make a, a debut here. But we're going to talk now about the KB Ear Storm. All right, let me open this box up. Pop this bad boy down here. 
Boom. Okay, so this is the KB Ear Storm. Now, what we've got here is the black cord with the black, um, uh, the black cable. We have the black cable uh, as well as the black KB Ear Storm in ear monitors. Okay, these in ear monitors are really nice headphones that you can get today for nineteen bucks, and they have a really, really, um, they have a really solid sound. I'm trying to untangle them a little bit. They have a really solid sound that isn't too uh, crazy on the low pass and thereby doesn't obstruct your highs very much. These look really good when you put them in your ear. Uh, I love these a lot. They're made of plastic. Uh, I can't see myself. Let me switch ears so that I can see what I'm saying. They're really, really light because of the plastic that they're made out of, and uh, they fit really well behind your ear. They come with like a piece of, of plastic that kind of bends the, the headphone, you see? I don't know. Let me get, get let me get a little closer. It bends the headphone and curls it back so that you can put it behind your ear. Now, the, the, the cord, okay, the cord that comes with the KB Ear Storms is a two-pin cord, which means that uh, you have two pins that plug in to the earphone. And I love that because... Not only does it allow you to replace the cable only, okay, if, if you experience damage with the cable, but there are multiple cable options that you can get as well. They make it in color brown. They make it in color black as featured here. Now, I know it's just kind of hanging by over my black shirt here, but that's still the case. Um. KB Ear Storm sounds very incredible. Uh, they have, like I said, they don't, they don't, they don't dump out the low pass too much, but the low pass isn't so extreme that it washes out your highs, which I I like that a lot when I'm trying to listen maybe to like audio books or some easy listening stuff. But if you're a bass head and you like bass, we're gonna get into some bass resilient speaker uh, IEMs in ear monitors by KB Ear in just a moment. Now you can get these in a blue purple combo, which I kind of wish I would have got sent to me by KB Ear for this review, but uh, you know. It's all good. Uh, they still sound exactly the same despite their aesthetic. Uh, and furthermore, and just jumping back momentarily, like I said, they come with a black cable and they also come with a brown cable. Now the black cable also offers the ability to have, take calls and as does the brown cable. So you get different color options as well as the ability whether you want to process uh, calls with the cable or not. I think that's absolutely phenomenal. And I just love the two pin design because oftentimes if you get your cable damaged, you, uh, you got to pr pretty much right off the earphone. So I love that you have that ability to pull these two pins out and remove the earbud from the, from the cable. Now we'll just do a little, one of these. Okay. We'll just give you one of these. So that's the KB Earstorm. I know it's a little bit blurry. There we go. I know it's really hard for me to make this focus super up close like this. But you can see the general shape. You know, they are just a smoky black clear plastic. They say KB Ear on them. And then uh, they also say the word Storm. So just the brand name and the uh, and the type. These are beautiful headphones. I love the way that they fit. They come with several different silicone tips that you can use to get the perfect adjustment. Um, when you put them on the nozzle, uh, the bore of the, the bore of the silicone tip can impact how the speaker, how the in-ear monitor sounds. Um, and you get several different ear tips to slide over this bore. Okay, so I'm going to pop this back in here and not plug the pins in. And that is the KB Ear Storm. Now let's talk about, oh, and today the storms are available. Another close-up, please. Yeah, you got it, June. For you, I'll do whatever you want, okay? For you, we're going to grab the camera, okay? And we're going to get really, really close right on the table, all right? So let's do that. So let's do it. Okay, so let me put this here. And uh, all right, so that's pretty good. So here's the KB Ear Storms June. Here's what they look like. Uh, here, let me get this little white thing kind of lined up there. Okay, here we go. This is a better. This is better. This is better. 
Okay, so this is what the KB ear looks like. Okay, this is the front side that would protrude from your ear. Let me get a little bit of camping light on it or something so that we can get it a little bit brighter. Hold on, June. I got you, man. Here's the camping light. Give me a quick second. Okay, how's this look? A little better? Yeah, that, that's all right. I mean, for using the camping light, for using the camping light, it doesn't look too bad, I'd say. So, yeah, so this is the KB Ear Storm, and they do come in a couple of different flavors, June. They come in this smoky black. They also come in a purple color, which you can see in the um, in the carousel, and I think they have another color. Uh, it escapes my memory what the third color is. Here's the back side. We can, I'm just going to put this light down for a second. We can pull the silicone off. And show the bore but it is kind of you know what it actually it can be a little bit of uh annoying to um i'm just gonna level with you june once you get the silicone on it can be a little bit annoying to want to re-put them on so if it's all the same i'm not going to take mine off but here's the back side okay here's the back side and then the side that my finger is touching that's what's going to face up and toward your temple okay that's the top of the kb ear storm and uh here's the side the nozzles are nice the, the diaphragm is a really simple diaphragm. It looks really good. And like I said, they don't drone out, uh, they don't drone out the, uh, the high, the, the lows don't, don't drone out the highs. I really wish I would have got the purple, man. I really wish I would have got the purple on that because uh, they're super, super nice. The purple, I like that retro feel on the storms with the purple and the blue. Okay, June, I'm going to move on from the storms, but if you want to talk about them more, just let me know and we'll go right back to them. Absolutely. Uh, these little guys are available today for $18. I guess I might as well leave this light on for a minute and we're going to take a closer look at another set of headphones uh, in ear monitors that I've got to present to you. Also by KB Ear, the same company that makes the um, the same company that makes these storms makes the rose finch okay as well and we're going to talk about the rose finch right after i take a sip of water <clears throat> okay so let's move on okay so once again the storms that we just looked at those are available for 19 dollars today and they have a four and a half star rating with just over 1800 reviews now let's take a look at what i consider to be more of my personal favorite between the two sets of headphones that we've got uh, on the show today, uh, the two sets of in-ear monitors that we've got on the show today, I like the KB Ear Rose Finch, okay? So here's the box for the Rose Finch. It's not too much to look at. We're going to get right into the uh, into the headphones here in just a moment. But here's that Rose Finch box. It's all right, okay? doesn't say much. It's got information on the back about the, uh, about the specs, okay? All right, so uh, we'll leave that there for now, and then let me pop these open. Now, these were hard to pop out of these plastics, so I didn't want to put them back in. So I just kind of got everything scrunched into the bottom of the uh, into the bottom of the rose finch box. Let me move my keyboard here for a second, and then I'm going to open these on my desk, and then I'll show you them up close because these ones these ones are really nice. These have like. Uh, these are made out of like a like a zinc alloy or something. Uh, I'd have to click through the carousel to learn myself. Let me see if it says on the box. Uh, KB ear, rose finch, sixteen ohm impedance. Oh, so the impedance on the um, the imp the impedance on the uh, storms is thirty two ohms. It's sixteen on the on the KB ears, uh, on the KB ear rose finch that we're talking about now. The ones that I'm holding. Okay. Uh, do -do. Do, 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 do. Cable material OFC, TFZ pins, 10 millimeter dynamic driver. Uh, it doesn't say, I think it's a zinc. I think it's made out of like a, a zinc. I got to click through my carousel because it's going to bother me now. I've got to, uh, I've got to click through my carousel. So let me do that real quick because I want to tell you what the metal is made out of. Dude, we're only, we're not even halfway through. We got a few more products to talk about so let's step it up here and keep it going it's six o'clock no problem uh the rose finch wired headphone five micrometer silicone composite biological diaphragm stereo earphone black no microphone we got brown with the microphone that's what we got um 
laser engraving, faceplate, aviation grade zinc alloy, aviation grade zinc alloy. So I was right. It is aviation. Uh, it is zinc. It is zinc. That's what uh, that's what we're, we got going on here. OK, now let me get back into it like I know what I'm talking about. OK, the KB ear rose finch is for bass heads. These are definitely a great sounding set of in-ear monitors, but be aware that the low end is what is featured when these have been tuned. And so they are going to kind of wash out your, <clears throat> they're going to wash out your uh, high pass a little bit. Okay. But if you like a lot of bass and you're not so focused on that high pass, then the Rose Finch absolutely is a set of uh, in-ear monitors worth considering. Okay. Look at these. Look at these. These are made out of aviation grade zinc alloy. They're laser etched. Okay. Um, I think the KB ear, I think the KB ear logo is uh, not etched, but the other stuff is. The other stuff is. I love how shiny these are. I love the brushed zinc uh, feel on these. And the, uh, the, the engraving is filled in with black. Okay. Now, these actually, like I was saying, come with the brown cable. Okay, this is the brown cable. And the brown cable that we got has the option with the with the microphone and the call ability. So you don't get to control volume with these, but you still get to uh, you still get to take calls with them. Now oh, I gotta put it on this side. Now these are amazing. I love the way that these feel. I love the way these sound. And just like the um, just like the uh, I love the way these feel and sound, and just like the KB ear storms that we were just looking at, they they sit behind your ear. They have like an extra piece of plastic around the cable that keeps it that keeps its form and makes it easy to put behind your ear to hold them very well good in place. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I really, really, really dig these KB ear uh, rose finches a lot. They feel good. These also come, like I said, with silicone. Uh, that can go over the nozzle that has different bore sizes. So it needs to be connected. These are hardwired. Both the storm and the Rose Finch are not, Oh, sorry. I kicked my camera cause I'm not used to it being there. Uh, both the storm and the Rose Finch are not battery operated earbuds. These require the cables to be plugged in at all times in order to utilize them. They're not wireless earbuds. They are, Recorded, okay. And like I said about the storm, I'm going to say it again about the rose finch. When we unplug the two pin connector from the zinc, from the aviation zinc uh, alloy rose finch, that's awesome because now we can put any cable that we want on this and uh, on, on these rose finches, whether it be a brown cable or a black cable, uh, whether it has the call of uh, the ability to take calls in it or not. So yeah, definitely it needs to be connected. These two pin designs, um, they need to be plugged in. Uh, the Rose Finch blasts bass very well for being these little uh, 10 millimeter, was it 10 millimeter? Yeah, with the 10 millimeter dynamic driver. Okay, let me get, let me pick up this box I dropped. Okay, let me grab a, this box here, and then I'm going to show you this one up close as well. Okay, so this is going to be uh, let's uh, let's see here, camera. Let's straighten this out a bit. Thank you. Just like this. Okay, so let me unplug it. Well, let me leave the cable on it, I suppose, for now. Uh, no, I'm going to unplug it. It'll make it less obstruct less obstructions. Okay. So we'll unplug this. Here's the Rose Finch. All right. Let me turn the light on. So this is it. This is the Rose Finch. It's really, really nice. I love that aviation grade zinc alloy. I love the way that it is. Um, I love the way that it's engraved on the front and it's only that zinc alloy on the front. Okay. If we turn it around and take a look at the back, you can actually see the 10 millimeter driver uh, there, there. You can see the 10 millimeter driver. It's real big and it's right in your ear, okay? So I love that it has the clear background. I love that the Rose Finch comes with the two pin design. Uh, I love that uh, magnesium alloy. Uh, I love that zinc alloy uh, front. And 
Um, what else is it that I love about the uh, about the Rose Finch? That's right, the low pass that it supports. Okay, <clears throat> so really, really loud bass that might muddle your highs. So always be aware of that. Now let's put this camera back over here. Um, I got you, June. Thanks for asking for more close-ups about the uh, about the products. I'm always happy to help. And uh, let's see, how's that look? We can fix it in real time if there's a problem later. All right, let me plug this one back in real quick. Just takes a moment. It only takes a moment. Okay. Uh, okay, that's good. Now let's put these rose finches away. I really, really love the base uh, on the rose finch, okay? Uh, I never tested them with calls. All right, I'm going to leave these, uh, I guess, these are complicated boxes to put everything away the way that I like to. So I will clean them up after, okay? Let's drink a little bit of water here. Yo, thumbs up to the five people that are watching right now. Right now. I appreciate you all coming out and supporting Clown Live. Uh, if you're so inclined, feel free to say anything in the chat. We're going to keep it going here. Uh, we are going to talk about some more products. The next one that we're going to talk about is these Keep Smile lights. This is so easy. This is a fast one. Here they are. Okay. The Keep Smile lights are mad easy to talk about, okay? They come in this box. They're app controlled. They're dimmable. And it's two 50-foot rolls that come in this box. Let's open it real quick and see. Everything that you get in the kit is going to be the AC power adapter as well as the, uh, the the box that receives all the information and puts it like, like power and puts out uh, the patterns to the lights, the control box. And then you get two 50-foot uh, 50 foot self adhesive rolls of LED strip light. Now, these strip lights are available today for $20 and have a four and a half star review with over 26,000 reviews. So, definitely a hot item. And let me open up my, uh, my product page here about it, okay, real quick. And uh, let's talk about this and see that. Apply a $5 coupon. So these are $20 today. Save $5. And uh, these are number one bestseller in LED strip lights. And I got to say, uh, $20 with $5 off for 100 feet, you literally can't beat that. I always say this, even, even if this product is not the best product, you're getting 100 feet of LED lights for $15. You know what I'm saying? That's a ton. That's a ton. Okay, so that was really easy. Also, the uh, the product comes with a remote control that you can use to control a bunch of different functions like colors and timers, um, among other things, okay? Whew. These things have not degassed at all. They smell like they are electronic. Woo! Okay, we're going to keep it moving here now, uh, and we're going to talk about the next product in our carousel, and that's going to be the KYY Portable Monitor. Uh, this is also a product that I have on hand right here. Let's take a quick look at it. Here's the box for it, okay? Let's pull the box back, back and to the left. All right, so this is the monitor. Let's check it out. Kaboom, kaboom. Okay, so that's uh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I've displayed things worse. There we go. Okay, maybe you can see the light on it, so be it. This is the KYY 15.6 inch 1080p portable monitor. It has one watt speakers built into it, so uh, it does play audio. It has two USB connection, excuse me. It has two USB-C as well as a mini HDMI in connection, so you can connect up to three things to this portable monitor. It also has a rocker switch that gives you the ability to navigate the on-screen display to select those inputs and navigate things such as brightness and contrast settings. Also, it adjusts volume in those one watt speakers. This is really, really great, okay, this monitor because I plugged it into my laptop when I need it. And the monitor, the monitor, um, the monitor, receives power and video. Excuse me for the little shortcoming there in my mind. The monitor receives power and video from a single US, excuse me, gosh darn it. Let's try one more time, okay? <clears throat> the KYY 
1080p portable monitor is really great because it does have those connections that I was saying about it a moment ago to USB-C connections as well as a mini HDMI connection. And what's dope about this is that I can run a single USB-C cable to this monitor and, and have power and video going to it uh, off the same single cable solution. So you don't need to plug this into the wall in order to serve it power. Uh, it gets its power through USB-C. So I'll tell you this though, in my experience with this device, I never used the mini HDMI. So I would assume that you might need power for HDMI. I, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But the power over USB-C is the real deal. And this is 15.6 inches in 1080p. This is essentially like for what it's worth, the same monitor that I have in my laptop right now. So when I, uh, when I, when I plug this into my laptop, it just feels right because they're the same size and it doesn't sit much lower like uh, than my monitor, but it does sit a little bit lower than my monitor. That's just a, that's just a preference. Okay. Now what's cool about the monitor is that it does come with this little uh, protective case, I guess you would call it. it does come with this little protective case. Now we don't have the monitor in it. Now we got the monitor down here. But uh, it has a couple of different folds in it, okay? Now, when it, it sits in an L shape like this one open, and this flap folds over, okay, and then magnetizes to itself and creates a little ridge here that the YK, uh, the KYY monitor can, can rest against. Now, the back where my fingers are touching folds up and out, and that creates the magnet uh, for the monitor to adhere to, okay? So when we set this up, the monitor is ultra light too. Let me take you show you. Look, here's those uh, two USB C and HDMI connection, and then on the other side, it features uh, it features the headphone out jack, the rocker switch for the volume controls and OSD controls, as well as a power button. Okay, I really really dig this monitor a lot. Lately, since I set up the new um, uh, battle station here, I haven't needed the portable monitor. But what I love about this is knowing that for someone like me who likes to go to like my homie's house and play like Minecraft and stuff with him, <clears throat> this is easy. This is easy. I used to have to take like a big, comp even though we live in a great age where things are small and flat, the regular monitor that I normally would take with me was much larger. Now, albeit it was a larger monitor, it's like a 24 inch monitor or whatever, but I digress, okay? Because the point that I'm making is, even if this was a 24 inch portable monitor, I would use this over the monitor that I had currently, right? Um, because of its portability and its one cable power and video solution. With that monitor, I had to have the stand, I had to have the power cable, we had to set up the whole thing, you know, to make it all fit. Mm -mm, not with the laptop and the KYY portable monitor. They just sit next to each other and pair very well. Now, let me give the demo real quick of this, and then we're going to move on from it. So like I said, when it's open, when it's open, uh, we put place the monitor in it, and then we close it as such, right? And then when we want to open it, it's just a flap. It's just magnets that hold it in place, really. So we lift the monitor up, lift the monitor up, fold this back to create that ridge. And then this piece, oh, you can't see? Hold on. Uh, so we just fold it. We fold it, like I said, I'll show you again. So we just fold this over here, fold it over, create a ridge here. Our monitor goes in there, and then it just, with magnets, attaches to the back of the monitor. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Boom. So one con, one pro is that they give you this stand. They give you this cover that protects your monitor and uh, is uh, also makes a great stand, okay? But one con is that the, there's no adjustability with this, with this monitor uh, stand whatsoever. So I would like to say, hey, what's up, Donald H? Sorry I didn't greet you a moment ago. I'm just like right in show mode right now. Thank you for hitting that follow button. I really appreciate it. And, uh, oh, the suspense is killing me, waiting on the new grandbaby. My daughter's at the hospital now. No words since noon. Wow. Well, congratulations. Early congratulations uh, on the uh, on the new grandbaby. I hope that uh, you name it Blake. It's a wonderful unisex name uh, that applies to both men and women equally. I uh, when I was growing up, there was always a man on our local news. His name was Blake. And I was very like uh, kind of like conditioned 
that Blake was more of a boy's name. And then like Blake lively exists now. And there's all these like women, there's all these women that uh, I learned that are named Blake as I've gotten older uh, in life. Right. So it's a very, very acceptable name. Uh, every time I look it up, I think it means like a small boat. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let me look it up right now and see what it says. Name meanings, Blake. Uh, it means dark, black, bright, shining, pale. So it means literally whatever you want. Blake literally means whatever you want. Blake is a gender neutral name of British origin, meaning black, dark, bright, shining, or pale. It's derived from the Old English auto antonym black, which means both white or pale and black or dark, making its true intended meaning rather mysterious. Uh, I always thought that it was like a boat. I thought it was boat stuff. Blake is the nickname meaning dark one from a person with a dark complexion. Okay, well, I certainly don't have that. Uh, this name is of Anglo-Norman descent, spreading to Ireland, Scotland, and Wales in early times and found in many med medieval manuscripts uh, in the above countries. Yo, that sounds cool. That's cool. I thought it was like a small ship. I always thought it was a small ship. Let me search Blake with a small ship and see what it says. Uh, okay. No, I can't get it. I can't get it. I can't get it. Um, Blake has a girl's name. You throw me off track with this one, bud. Okay, let me see what this says. I just, I've got to get some kind of like comeuppance here. Ocean themed boy names, Blake. Okay. And that's on like, you know, the thing about name meanings is I don't think there's like an ac Well, I'm sure there is accurate depictions of like language or whatever, but like they just mean whatever. You don't even get to pick your own name. You, somebody gives it to you. I hope that you give, uh, yeah, not conflicting or anything. You know what? If, uh, if your daughter is having two babies, name them both Blake. Name them both Blake. It's a great idea. Uh, it's probably the best idea I've had ever, pretty much. I've had some pretty good ideas, but you getting the ability to name both of your grandkids, Blake, and like override your daughter's decision seems like a really, really smart, tactical, well thought out and logical move for everyone involved. <laughs> Blake one and Blake two, like thing one and thing two. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well congratulations in advance when you get the notice and uh if we're live please feel free to give us the update hopefully uh hopefully your daughter's doing very well and there aren't any major types of complications or any worrying uh things Okay, let's wrap up with the monitor now. This is the KYY portable monitor. It's 15.6 inches with a 1080p display. It has several inputs as well as speakers. It's recognized as an audio device when you plug it into your computer. And it only requires a one cable solution over USB-C for power and video. I think that's truly phenomenal. It's a miracle, just like having two babies today. Okay. The K when you buy the KYY monitor today for $150, okay, you're getting a 32% deal on this $220 uh, average retail value. So you're saving a few bucks and, uh, and it's just as good as having two grandbabies today. <laughs> okay. All right, let's keep it moving here now, and we're going to go through the kids block. We're going to talk about some prex text stuff, and then, uh, and then, no, 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 I don't know, I don't, I don't have any reference on screen for you to look at. I got three screens. I still can't see anything on my monitor. It's so funny. Uh, I'm just going to rest the monitor here. The table's kind of a little full. Uh, are we doing cop car stuff? Yeah, police car. Okay. Now, um, thanks. It's just one as far as I know. And the sibling is two years old yesterday. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. Uh, I was born in February. So whatever nine months previous to February is, is that like, uh, I don't know, like, uh, well, it'd be two months ahead of February, right? April, April, something nine months after April is February. 
May, May, because it's three months. Uh, my brain is not smart. My brain is not not smart. I see the thing. I talk about the thing. Uh, I'm trying to engage in like more social things, but my brain just don't do math. It don't do math. You could ask me one plus one. I'm taking my socks off to count that up. You know what I'm saying? All right. Uh, thanks. It's just one as far as I know. And then the other one is two years old. Or I'm thinking wrong. Or I'm thinking wrong. Right. No math. There's a lot. That's a lot there. Listen, let's transition out of this one and start a new engagement. Let's talk about this product and maybe something else will pop up that we both understand what we're talking about. Uh, maybe you know what you're saying. I'm totally lost. Now, let me get through Prex Text, drink water, and then we'll 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 chat a little bit more. Okay, the Prex Text remote control car is available today for $35. This is 30% off of its average retail value of 50 bucks. So like I said, save like uh, 15 bucks today, I think. And this is going to have a four and a half star rating with over 20,000 reviews. Every time I try to open it, I open it from the wrong side. So let's open it on the correct side. Boom. Oh, what does this say? Prex text vehicles are the perfect introduction to radio controlled toys for young children and toddlers. This is going to include, and we're going to get into this, two vehicles, a police car with a policeman uh, and a racing car with a race man. Each vehicle has a different frequency, so both vehicles can be played with at once. The police makes a siren sound while the race car makes a sound that raves the engine. Yo, <laughs> yo, this raves the engine. Yo, who just hit follow? Alfred Castillo del Rosario, thank you so much for following me, for following me here on Clown Live. If you are in the chat and you can hear the sound of my voice, please feel free to say hello. It's nice to see you with the follow. I really appreciate that, man. We are on the road to 3,000 followers. Let's do a quick check on our followers here. We started today's show at 2,882 followers. And when we refresh today, we've got two new followers. That's so amazing. We have 2,884 new followers. Um, cool. That's amazing. We're getting so close to hitting that 3,000 mark. I don't know if I got anything special planned or not. But, uh, man, it's going to be very, very humbling when we get the ability to reach that 3,000 follower goal. Now, let's drink a little bit of water now, okay? And then we'll continue with the toddler toys. <sighs> Such good, cool water today. Usually, the water is very fridge cold, but I filled up the filter right before we started and whatever like warm room temperature water that is cool okay prex text two in one cartoon police and race car set this is what we got here when we open this box and pull it out we are going to be greeted with exactly what i just said was in the box all right so uh we get the cop car we get the police car i gotta stop saying cop i don't think it's disrespectful but it doesn't say cop car on the prex text it says police car okay so we get the police car and the police car, it's going to come with a policeman, all right, as a driver. And then also we're going to get the race car. And then the race car also comes with a race car driver. So this is the whole crew. Now what you get is not only the cars and the drivers, but you get the remote controls that are included in order to operate the vehicles. Very simple, very easy, guys, okay? Uh, forgotten freshness, yo. Uh, raving the engine, uh, the cops after the rave party favors. Yo, look, it says rave on the box. It says rave on the box, which is uh, not bad. Not bad. I've seen. Uh... Oh, it's, it says they just copied and pasted the text on both sides. So I was reading the side of the. Now, I know this is extremely washed out here, but uh, I'm sure it's washed out on the back as well. But it says, uh, that raves the engine. It's the very, very last line. The police makes a siren sound while the race car makes a sound that raves the engine. Um, you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a link in the, in the chat. Hopefully, I don't get in trouble for this, but uh, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Uh, okay, let's go here, and then let's do. Uh... 
Gotta love their misspeaks. Yeah. Okay. Nakatomi, Children of the Night. Okay. So can't play it. I can't play it because we got like a thing, but I can copy the watch information and then I can jump over to our show. I really want, I really want at least one person to watch this. I mean, don't they have translators? Maybe, but like, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. One misspell. It's not too bad. Okay. Um, let me put this link in the chat here real quick. And all this is, is just add it to the end of youtube.com. So I didn't put the link in the chat. I didn't want to like get in like, uh, didn't want to have an issue, but, uh, that is the like ultimate rave machine. That thing is the ultimate rave machine that, um, that song, the children of the night by Nakatomi is one of the most hard, happy, hardcore rave tracks I've ever heard in my life. I've listened to a lot of rave music and this one is just one of these crazy to me, cartoony sounding tracks, and uh, in the in the um, in the lyrics of the song, she says, uh, "We are the children of the night, fight for the future of our nation. Never gonna stop us now. Get up, get up. Now is the time to change. Get up, get up. Da 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 da." Oh, yeah. Okay. So then she goes, uh, come. Oh, she goes, come along and join the team. Lose your mind like a rave machine. And then it goes, bum, 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 bum. It goes like so crazy. And it is the impression of the rave machine. And it's just like all these loud sirens and noises. And it just like, if you like happy hardcore rave music, you're going to really like the sound of this song. If you listen to this in the chat today, let me know. Because uh, let me make sure that I've got the uh, the uh, the whole link in the chat because I really want you to see it uh, if you're interested. But yeah, making uh, making fun, um, making light of the uh, the misspelling on the thing is really funny. The race car raves, okay, and I bet it raves to Nakatomi, Children of the Night, and that is what this vehicle sounds like. The rave machine in that song. Now, once again, I, I digress, okay? Joking aside, the Prex Tex 2-in-1 Cartoon Police race car set is available today. Let me scroll through here in my carousel to tell you the price. It's $35. It's $35 today. It's regular $50, bucks, so you can get a little deal, save $15. And like we read on the um, like we read on the box earlier, the remote controls do have two different frequencies, so that you can control both. Yeah, dude. Yes, dude. <laughs> I love this song so much. It's the craziest song. We are the children of the night and fight for the future of our nation. Dude, it's the craziest song. It's so fast and she just is yelling at you that it's time to get up and stand up. Now is the time for change. It's just the craziest, craziest track if you listen to it, if you listen a little gamey, yeah, ultra gamey. This is like pure happy hardcore rave music from when I was a teenager and like really enjoying those songs. Look at the glow on my face right now. I'm so happy that you're listening to this song. But later near the middle or near the end of the track when she goes, come along and join the team, lose your mind like a rave machine. And then they play the rave track. This is the whole stimuli around this mistype, okay? Prextex race cars dominate because they flood me with nostalgic memories. The race car driver and the cop, they all fit in the cars themselves. And they do have sounds on the buttons uh, under the feet of the racers, the steering wheels, as well as whatever is on the top of the race car and the lights on the police car, okay? All right, now let's keep it moving here. Thanks thanks for the mistype. Um, Thanks for the typo Prex text because that made me feel really, really good. What a crazy old song that I love so much. Uh, I guarantee I'm going to get that song uh, in my mind real quick. I can't wait to uh, I can't wait to get that to listen to it myself at the end of today's show. Uh, I'm going to share it in my little 
personal discord with my two dozen friends and be like, yo, <laughs> y'all need to listen to this. Nakatomi, baby. Nakatomi, children of the night. We are the children of the night and fight for the future of our nation. We get together and unite. Nobody's going to stop us now. Get up. Get up. Get up. Now is the time to change. Get up. Come along and join the team. Lose your mind like a rave. Dude, it's I can't even. I like to emulate noises. And this is just absolutely a sound that I cannot emulate because there's so many layers of it. It's hard to even pick a single beat and do it. I'm sure you're going to listen to it in a second here. I'm so stoked on it. I got to relax, dude, about Nakatomi. You got me. I mean, I guess I got myself kind of into this because I read the thing, but uh, uh, air scoop the top of the rave car. Air scoop on the top of the rave car. Okay. All right. <laughs> the rave car. It's the rave machine. Forgotten Freshness, I hope also while you're in the chat that you consider checking out Nakatomi Children of the Night. It's a really, really great tra track. Okay. All right. Let's talk about what we got next here. Uh, we got the box for the volcano, but we're going to talk about the plush dinosaurs instead first because that is actually what's in this box. And we've got the volcano right here. Okay. So uh, let's talk about the... Prex Tex plush dinosaurs that you get. Now, the reason that these are in the volcano bag is that uh, the reason that these are in the volcano box is that when I got them, they came in a bag. So while I do try to keep like a lot of the original packaging for the concept of showing on the show, uh, that's not the case today with the with the Prex Tex uh, plush dinosaurs because they came in a bag. Okay, so what you get is a nice Tyrannosaurus Rex. I guess I don't know what this one is. Also, you get the Brontosaurus, as well as this one that I don't know who he is. Uh, one of these is a Stegosaurus. I know that. I never really got versed in dinosaurs. Uh, I never really got versed in dinosaurs. Okay, here's the Triceratops. And they all chill, and they all hang out. And you get, what is this? Six, eight. You get eight dinosaurs today for, for the cost of $30. Let me see if there's a coupon on this today. Prex text dinosaurs. Let's grab this link and see that the dinosaurs unfortunately don't have a deal on them today. They're they're explicitly exclusively thirty dollars. All right, but uh, this is cool. You get all this kit, and they come in these colors. So looking at this kit, these are all the colors that we get. So it doesn't look like they're making them in a multitude of colors. We've got the blue dinosaur as well as matching colors on the Triceratops, um, gray Triceratops. And then all of these dinosaurs, all these dinosaurs for what it's worth are pretty much like solid colors. All the fabrics are solid colors, but the Tyrannosaurus, he's got like shading on his, on his, uh, like they did a little paint job on him. I don't know how the nice little dye job on the T-Rex. He's got soft, soft um soft teeth okay on a tongue now the hardest part of this like the hardest parts of this are going to be the plastic eyes but they feel pretty well secured in there and these feel like a like a microfiber cloth almost okay all right so this is going to be then the eight plus dinosaurs now we're going to keep the t-rex out for a quick example and we're going to put our other friends back in this box okay so let me uh let me do that as as always opening the box wrong and uh, we're going to keep the Brontosaurus and the T-Rex out so we can talk about the next product here in our carousel. And that is going to be the Prextex Dinosaur Volcano House. Yes, this is what we're talking about. This is it. Boom. This is the Volcano House. We're going to move these guys in just a little bit here for the shot. And uh, yeah, so this is the Volcano House. And when we open the Volcano House, we see that it has a zipper to the front door. And what is inside? Well, we've got five other dinosaurs that live in the volcano house, okay? Now, if you were to obtain today the Prex Tex volcano house and the eight pack of additional dinosaurs, uh, they would all fit in the dinosaur house, no problem, no problem, okay? So we're gonna set the small guys aside here for a quick second. And uh, here's the house in the background. Now, while the house is textured and painted uh, or dyed well, 
Uh, there's, it's like unfinished inside, right? So it just stays white on the inside. Uh, it's, it's sewn well to, it's sewn pretty well together and it features a loop on the top that makes it good to like hang on something or also is the perfect size for a toddler's hand. Now, what's awesome about the dinosaur house is that it comes with these dinosaurs and these dinosaurs are cool. Okay. So you get one, whatever is the stegosaurus and you get the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, also, you get the blue Triceratops, and you get another Brontosaurus. Uh, okay, so what I want you to see is the size difference in, in dinosaurs. Okay, so when you get the Volcano House, you get the big dinosaurs. And these are the little dinosaurs that you get in the 8-pack, all right? Now, the same thing applies uh, across all dinosaur sizes. When you get the Volcano House, you get the large brontosaurus, and when you get the eight pack, you get the little baby brontosaurus. It's really, really cute looking at them interact with each other. And uh... okay, that's it. That is it for the dinosaur house today. It is available with a five star rating. This has almost 3,400 reviews and is available today. Uh, for $30, and that's 14% off of its average $35 retail value. So uh, let's put our bigger dinosaurs back in the house. Thank you for joining us today, fellas, but it's time to go home. And we can see that the dinosaurs, you can like stuff them in, you know, in an unorganized way, but also you do have the ability to put them in there gently and stand them up. So they are kind of like all standing on their feet, you know, Toy Story style. You don't want to leave them like jumbled in there. Okay, and then the door to the cave closes. The door to the volcano closes really easily with the zipper, and we are good to go. Now, the material of the big dinosaurs in the volcano house is identical to the material of the, uh, of the small dinosaurs as well, okay? So they do match. They feel the same. It's like a nice microfiber. Seems like it would be easy to keep clean if it got, like, uh, dirty. <laughs> All right, so that's Prex text. What do we got left on our carousel today? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight products, and two of them are B rolls. So we got six products left. Then we do two in one. So that's five. Okay, let's keep it going here. We're going to get ready to start wrapping up our show. We've got a few more products, though, to take a look at before we do that. And one of those things is going to be the uh, Rosetta Star Projector. Now, this is a really cool product. If you like lights in the house that add ambiance, this is absolutely something worth considering. Comes with a little remote control, easy to use infrared remote control. And this is the product itself. So we'll put the product front and center, and then we'll get this box over here real quick. Now the Rosetta, the Rosetta uh, star projector is so much more than an actual star projector. What's cool about this is that it has this dome on the top that like uh, bends the light and makes it look really sweet on your ceiling uh, to give it the effect of like the Northern Lights or Aurora Borealis. And that's really fun. Now with the included remote control, you can control the R, G, B, and W of this light, as well as uh, there's built-in set times to turn it off. The star projector also features a green laser, okay? And that green laser will shine stars essentially uh, over top of the Aurora. Uh, that's really cool. The Aurora has three different speeds and um, you can control that as well. You get a lot of control with the remote, um, whether you want it to be just red or just blue or just green or just white. Like I was explaining earlier, you have the ability to be any of those single colors or be any of those colors mixed. I really like mixing the red and the blue. It really gives it a wonderful sort of um, kind of like a purple kind of aura. And I really like that a lot. It plugs in via USB-C. And if I neglected to mention this a moment ago, it also is Bluetooth compatible. It has a speaker built into it so you can connect your phone to this device and play some music through it. Now, I don't know how good the speaker works in this. I never tested that, but uh, this is really light and it it's light in weight and it's designed to project light. So maybe you're playing like some I don't know, star noises or something through this thing. I'm not really sure. Now, the star projector today is available for $36, and this is 40% off. So a big get today. If you're looking to buy this, $35.99. $36 down from $60. Let me click through the carousel and see what's going on here because I don't see a um, 
I don't see a uh, 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 what don't I see? I don't know. Number one bestseller, thirty six dollars. Apply a ten percent coupon. So what is that? Another like three fifty, ten percent, three sixty. So pretty cool. So get this for around thirty two, thirty three dollars today. When you apply a 10% coupon, it's 40% off of its $35.99 MSRP. Really, really cool, really fun, and uh, also has a four and a half star rating with over 13,000 reviews. So, this is another really popular kind of product, and I can't uh, express how uh, nice the light looks. Now, I know lately on the show that uh, we haven't been doing a lot of like hands on demos, and I think I need to like just pick like a half a dozen to do some real good demos on every show uh, going forward in the future. I, I need to uh, I need to be more hands-on with some of these products instead of just showing them. But as I flip it around real quick, uh, you can see that there is an infrared receiving light here, as well as partial control of the device with a few buttons that are built into it. And when I look at it, I see like a power button. I see a light uh, toggling button between stars and Aurora. And I also see two volume buttons, okay? All right, so like I said, this is available for $36 today, and it also has a 10% coupon. Uh, don't forget to click that when you add it to your cart. Now, we're going to move on to one of my favorite products. Uh, I reached out to, we reached out to these guys. They don't want to, uh, they don't want to work with us. It's unfortunate. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that out loud or not, but I did. Okay, so this is the next product. This is one that I really, really like and I can't talk highly enough about. Let's see here. How's our frame rate? Look like it was kind of choppy there, but I think we've recovered. Okay, so uh, here we go. This is the Noco Genius 2x2. It's a 4-amp dual 2-amp battery charging bank. It has the ability to be plugged into the wall and charge batteries. It's a battery charger, and it charges batteries that are made of composition lithium or AGM as well as lead acid batteries of a 12 volt nature. Noco Genius got you covered with the two by two cuz. And then also uh, it, it has the ability to charge some six volt batteries. And it has this really amazing feature that if the Noco Genius doesn't detect any voltage coming through the battery, then you can force a charge into it. And if it even detects a single volt, this will switch over into a reconditioning mode and attempt to recover said poor battery. Very, very cool option there. Um, it has a nice uh, display on it that is all easily used with a single button operation. Uh, this row above my finger here is different errors, whether there's voltage issues or cross polarities among other, other uh, errors. Also, it features your LED, uh, it features uh, four stage charging indicators. So, you know, ranging from 25 to 100%, as well as what type of battery is currently being charged on each bank. They work the same. Uh, I love the Noco Genius 2x2. And if two amps charging isn't enough for you, then I definitely encourage you to click through this carousel and navigate to the Noco store and see the other types of products that they have to offer because they don't only just offer this amazing IP6X water resistant battery charger. They have all kinds that put out different voltages and charges. They have battery boosters as well. If you're looking to maintain a battery, NOCO is absolutely one company that is totally worth consideration. I know that a lot of streamers get the opportunity to talk about a lot of different battery chargers here, but in my experience, Noco is the top of the pile. Excuse me. Okay. The Noco Genius is available today for a hundred dollars. And before I put it away, it does come with a 15 foot extension cord and a short uh, alligator clip. Okay. So you get this short alligator clip. You can actually take the clips off of the leads and bolt these to uh, your battery, the short leads, the positive is fused. And then you get a 15 foot extension cable as well. And you get that uh, twice. You get two sets of alligator clips and two sets of 10 or, or 15 foot extension cords. Um, because there's two banks, two, two by two, right? Oh, tech light, dude, I miss you so much, bro. Ask anybody. I don't know who's in the chat today that was here yesterday, but we spent time asking about you and G zone. I hope that you're both doing very well. I was trying to figure out if I could locate you on social media, 
but I, I, I was like trying to figure out how to find you on Discord. And I, I just wanted to message you and make sure you're doing good, man. It's so good to see you, Tech Light, man. It's fucking, oh, no, sorry, sorry, I didn't say that. It is so great to see you. It's uh, the opposite of frustrating. It's fantastic. It's fantastic to see you. That's what I'm saying. It's so fantastic. It's fantastic that you're here. So um, let's see. Just got final year thesis. So you've been busy with a little bit of school. That's cool, man. Uh, Noco is a great, Noco's great. I have a couple of their Genius Boost Jumpstart packs. Yeah, the Jumpstart packs by Noco are also really good. I personally don't own one, but I have a friend who does. And uh, yeah, he can't speak highly enough about, about the Noco Jump Boost either. Um, thank you so much. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. Thank you. I'm so good that you're doing well. So do you have a day? Do, do you have a day in your mind that you're going to come back and do more streaming? What is that day? Do you, is it after your thesis is done? Do you have more schoolwork that you need to complete? Let me know what's going on with you, man. I've been missing you, man. A lot of people, bro. A lot of people have been like not streaming as frequently recently. And I think it's because uh, I think it's because Amazon might be like changing things. <clears throat> I think the way that like some people are seen, like the way that their videos are distributed across Amazon, I think it's become complicated. And so uh, I think some people have slowed down and I thought that that's, yeah, the numbers are low. Yes. That is the easiest way. I streamed today for only an hour. I'm sorry. I didn't get to see you today. Um, yeah, the numbers are low. And initially I was like, well, everybody, um, everybody, uh, everybody spent all their money for Christmas, but now we're getting ready to do Easter and stuff. So hopefully we get a little bit of an upsurge for the Easter holidays and, uh, hopefully we can get things back to like how it felt before, like, like January, right? Like everything kind of changed around in January, maybe in February, things kind of changed a little bit and it's been a little bit slower since then. So I'm really, really excited for the future to be bright and bountiful for all of us, you know? <clears throat> um, all right. So uh, I'm so glad that you're doing good, man. I was really like, I've been thinking about you a lot and not talking about it. And then finally, it was like, it had to have been yesterday because we're only Tuesday today. I feel like it was yesterday, just yesterday that I was talking about it. So I'm so glad that you're here with me now. And uh, I understand if you have to leave to go work on your thesis or whatever. And uh, you said you did a stream today for a short time, one hour. Do you know when your next stream is so that I can try to remember to be there and give you the support that you deserve? Okay. Uh, let me know if you know about that, about the next day that you're going to stream. And while you're typing me that message, I'm going to keep this show going because we're getting close to the end here. And uh, I want to talk about this screwdriver kit real quick. Okay, so this is going to be the uh, the SATA six-piece stubby. I don't know. Just, they say so many words in the carousel. can never read all of them. Let's uh, close a couple things here. And then let's grab... Uh, this uh, screwdriver kit. Boom. This is the SATA six piece stubby ratcheting screwdriver set with three ratcheting settings and a green and yellow storage handle. That doesn't sound right. Is this ratchet? No, this don't ratchet. This don't. How does this ratchet? Multifunction screwdriver. This ain't a ratcheting set. Even the one in the picture in the kit. Am I saying the wrong thing right now? Here's the screwdriver. Looks exactly like the one in the picture, but mine don't ratchet. Mine does not ratchet. And it doesn't have a green and yellow storage handle. That's for sure. Let me, um, but this has got to be it. Is this ratcheting or what? I'm clicking on somebody else's video. Sad a screwdriver kit with the green. Yeah, yeah, dude. I'm checking out videos and this is not the right thing. It's not the right thing. Um, 
six piece, 25 piece screwdriver kit. Yeah, I want this. Not cordless. Uh, I will inform G Zone that you asked about him. Thanks. You're a real G. No, you're a real G. You're a real G. Um, uh, happy to be here. Hopefully tomorrow, but I am not sure of the time. I'll do my best to be around. Uh, I'm always live for these two hours, for this hour that we're in now that ends in 10 minutes and the hour previous to it. That's 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when I'm doing my show. So, uh, so uh, hopefully if you're not doing the show at that time, I can catch yours, okay? Uh, yo, I love you, Tech. Thanks for popping up, man. I'm, I want to see you on your show. I can't wait to catch up with you uh, over there. Okay, now I'm taking a look at this SATA six-piece. That's not what we're looking at. That's not what we're looking at here. It's, it's interesting. It's interesting because um, look, I'm just going to share my screen and show you what I'm looking at real quick here. Hold on. I got to get ready to share my screen anyway for some other product stuff that we're going to take a look at. So taking a minute to set this up now isn't that big of a deal. But uh, maybe y'all will see something that you can help me understand. Let's do this. And this. All right, Peace Tech, I'll talk to you later. Okay, now look, we're taking a quick look at this product page. But the, the title says SATA six-piece ratcheting screwdriver set uh, with a green and yellow storage handle. And then if we navigate to a video, uh, that's what is shown in the video. We don't want this first video. We want this second video. Look at this random, look, SATA, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and then we jump. Look, it's got the green and yellow handle. This is not what we're talking about. This is not what we're talking about right now. And then when we go back to the product page, it's got the 25 piece micro precision pen screwdriver kit. And that's what we're talking about here today. So what if we click on this six piece set, 12 bucks for the stubby 10 piece set, 25 bucks for the long boy, 32 piece cordless. Yeah. None of these, none of these. Uh, this is what we have here. This is what we have here. We have the 25 piece micro precision pen screwdriver kit what threw me off and started me on this tangent was that uh this is not the right this is not it that it said ratcheting because this this screwdriver does not ratchet that's all that's all i'm trying to point out all right now let's cut back to uh, a regular show here and here's the saddest stuff i know that's not the best uh, shot but uh you know it's hard to make this one stand up Yeah, there's no way I can make that stand. Okay, let me jump back into it now that I realized what's going on here. This 25-piece micro-precision screwdriver kit is pretty sweet. It is a simple little pen design. Let's make sure that we're looking at ourselves here. Okay, it's a pretty simple like pen-type design. And then when you push it on the top like you're clicking the pen, this whole thing comes out with a bunch of bits, with six different bits that you can have access to. I think that you can swap these out with the bits that are in the uh, case on the table there. And then it's really easy to push this back down. Uh, and when we pull it out, it's easy to remove the bits. They pull out with little magnets and they're easy to put back in. Uh, so that's really nice. Now it does not ratchet. That's what kind of threw me off there, but it's got a nice little grip to it. And then here's where you put your bits in. Now it does come with a bunch of bits here. It is comes with 18 bits here and six bits here, uh, plus the pen itself. So I think that's the 25 pieces. And uh, yeah, so the bits are really small. They're really made for fine precision stuff. It's kind of difficult, I think, for me to uh, to really, really feature and showcase how small these are. But uh, they got all kinds of different Torx bits flatheads. Uh, they got the torques with the security pin in them with the security hole and everything. So you get the 18 bits in a magnetic case. Okay. So that's the case there. And uh, this is really cool. This is a nice kit. If you're trying to like work on eyeglasses or maybe do some fine work with some other electronics or what have you, this kit is available today for $20. And when we click through our carousel, we can learn that uh, there's no coupon today, no coupon today. Uh, for the 25 piece kit. Okay. 
Now that is that kit. $20 today with four and a half stars and just under 2,700 reviews. Uh, the SATA six piece. Oh no, it's not the SATA six piece. It's the 25 piece micro precision screwdriver kit. That threw me for a loop because it was a little confusing about the way that it was named and marked in its thing. Okay, now let's talk about the Husky Jack. I got this one here. I knew I forgot to grab the big box today, but that's okay. We're going to talk about the Jack real quick, and this is going to apply for the next two products. So uh, let's hold it over here, and uh, yeah, we're going to give them one of these. I got a stand over here. Okay. Okay. This is the Husky Super Brew HSB 4000. It's designed to lift 4,000 pounds, whether you have this connected to a camper or a utility vehicle uh, for work. The Husky Super Brew is a really, really great electronic tongue jack. It's waterproof. It comes with grommets, and it has lights on both sides as well as the front. It features switches that one is for up-down. The other one is for the auxiliary lights that are built into this. It also on this side has a little switch that allows it to be uh, switched from neutral to like drive essentially. So when it's in neutral, you can crank it. And then when it's in drive, it engages with the, um, it engages with the, uh, uh, when you add the power to the device and it's taken from neutral into drive, then there's a nice corkscrew in here with ball bearings and that's better for lifting weight than other more traditional things like uh, whatever, not, not that, not that. Okay. Now this Husky super brute HSB 4,000 Jack uh, it's available today for $306. It's a pretty good deal, I think. And uh, it's uh, I'm going to go over there and read the phone in a second after I put this down, but I want you to know that this Husky super brute is good for 4,000 pounds, the HSB 4,000. And we also are going to take a look at the HSB 5000. Now that one is actually connected to my camper currently, but it is identical in form to the 4000. The only difference is that the 5000 comes with a remote control and lifts 5000 pounds. You don't get a remote with the 4000 uh, like you do with the 5000. Okay, let's put this thing down because it can be heavy. And let's talk about those two back to back right now. The 4,000 pound jack is available today for 307, $306.75, excuse me. And that is a 29% discount on its average retail value of $434.90. Um, and, and then uh, the same thing applies here for the Husky Super Brew HSB 5000. It's available today for $375. And 95 cents, so less than a hundred dollars more uh, for the 5,000. The 5,000 comes with a nice remote, goes up and down. It's pretty, pretty cool. All right, so now we just got three products left here. We're going to take a look at the vacuum. Okay, so this is the Eufy by Anchor H30 Home Vac. It weighs under two pounds. It's 1.2 pounds, I believe. Uh, is that the case, right? Oh, 1.78 1. pounds, excuse me. Uh, I said 1.2. It's 0. 0.12 pounds shy of being two pounds. This is 1.78 pounds, okay? It has a battery on the back that is easily removable and rechargeable when it's plugged into the device. Why did that do that? going to pop that up there real quick. Sorry for the interruption. The Eufy HomeVac H30 is available today for $130, and that's 28% off of its average retail value of $180. Like I said, it's just under two pounds and has that great battery. It features a low and high mode, economic and regular mode, I, I guess it's referred to as. Simple power button to turn this on. It has a large dustbin that is easily removable by pressing this button and sliding your dustbin off. Mine is full of dirt, so I'm not going to give that example today. The filter is washable with water, and uh, it also includes a brush to clean it. It has this power head that where the uh, 
where it spins, the head spins. It's easily you can pull this off. And then also included with the H30, you get this dust brush to agitate a surface. And then the pressing the red button on the brush will retract it and uh, expose the hard edge so you can really clean what you need to with it, okay? Really easy to put the attachments on. It just plugs in by force. Very, very simple, very easy, guys, okay? The uh, Eufy by Anchor HomeVac H30 is available today for $130. Now, one more thing I want you to know about this before we wrap it up is that this comes with a base. This is the base that I'm holding here. And the base has these two contacts in it to make contact with the vacuum. Easy to load the vacuum in here. It's a weighted base so that you don't have to be concerned with it tipping over on a flat, sturdy surface. And it also features impressions to put your um, uh, accessories, right? So really easy to mount your accessory uh, just like that. Super easy. Drop your vacuum in, put your power head on, and you're good to go, okay? The uh, Eufy by Anchor Home Vac H30. This one's available today for $130. Excuse me. <clears throat> Let's drink some water. All right, uh, I love this Eufy vac. We got a couple of cordless vacs. This one is a top contender for sure. And that's our last physical product. We just got these two screen share boys left, so I can move this one later. Let's full screen Blake. Boom. And uh, we can remove this from the show. Thank you for joining us. Close this tab. Thank you. We're still live here. All right. Let me grab these quick two uh, links for these product pages, and then we'll take a look at them. They're going to be B-roll videos, not product pages. Okay. Boom. Let me drag these over here. All right. Let's get ready for me to share my screen again with you all. We're going to take a look at these last two products. And uh, yeah, so let's do this now. We're going to take a look at this Avalon bottom loader, bottom loading water cooler with three different temperatures. Uh, okay, let's full screen this and let's take a look. I'm here showcasing the Avalon bottom loading water cooler. And one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to get a bottom loading water cooler so you didn't have to pick up those heavy five gallon drums of water and try to tilt it over, put it on the top and have risk water splashing everywhere. So this is where you could just simply put the five gallon drum at the bottom. You can see it slots in here. It's got the attachment cap with the metal straw like device that goes in the bottom, reaches all the way at the bottom, connects to the top, and then you're ready to simply use the water cooler. What I really like about this water cooler is you have three water temperature settings you have cold which is really really cold water it's nice fresh cold water it doesn't even need ice cubes you have cool water which is slightly cooler than room temperature and then of course the hot and the hot is protected by a little switch that you have to kind of push to the left and then press down and as you can see the steam rising it is quite hot water instantly make teas um, without having to put it in the microwave without having to boil water it's just perfect for that Dope. The Avalon bottom loading. Uh, I've never even seen a bottom loading thing like this before, a bottom loading water tank. This is actually pretty cool uh, that you can save your back having to lift up one of those giant five-gallon jugs and lug it over the machine. Very, very neat. Uh, this Avalon bottom loading water machine uh, that features cold, cool, and hot water is available today for $193. Uh, okay, now uh, I guess I should have highlighted that. And then we're going to go backwards in our carousel and we're going to take a look at our final, final product here of today's episode of Clown Live. And that is going to be the Kendra Scott Elsa pendant. OK, um, so uh, Al Alisa, Alisa, sorry, the text is a little small. The Alisa pendant. So let's full screen this. Cobalt cat. So let's pause it. Let's pause it. This is a short video. OK, let's watch this video together right now. the cobalt cat's eye. Now this is gonna be a traditional east to west setting. Now this is 14 karat gold plated and it measures 15 inches plus a two inch extender here. 
It's very comfortable to wear. If you're looking for something a little bit different, you won't be going wrong with any of your selections with the Kendra Scott line. Very, very short video. Thank you so much for the review of the Cobalt Kendra Scott Pendant Necklace. This is available today for $55, and it has a four and a half star review with just under 10,000 reviews. So this thing is selling. This thing's selling. Uh, and I guess that's it. I guess that's it. We'll highlight it. I kind of forgot to highlight my two last products there in the carousel while we were talking about them. But yo, we did it. It, it. Oh, look, you know what? I re, We did the whole show today. I didn't even realize I didn't have the door shut with the thing. Look at all my closet. All this is all closet stuff. And I'm trying to get this big closet. We talked about it in the past. It's called the Vipic V22S. I really, really want this garment rack. It's like nine feet long. And it seems like it's exactly what we need in the house for all of our all of our clothing. This is like 90% of this is mine. It's bad. It's bad. But uh, yeah, I'm trying so hard to get it. I am in Canada, so they don't want to ship it to me in Canada. And I've been hitting up some friends and stuff and just saying, hey, can I send it to you? And then they're all like, well, no. You know what I mean? They're polite, but they've got their reasons why. And so I can't send it to anybody that is close to me in America. So I'm looking at some friends that are a little bit further away from me, like a couple hours drive but they come to Canada often enough. So I'm trying to reach out to them and be like, Hey, can you like accept this package at your house for me and bring it to me, you know, drive a couple hours and bring it to me when you come up here. So I'm hoping I'm hopeful for that. Uh, I'm waiting for them to uh, contact me about it. And maybe I should do a follow-up with her today and uh, I'm going to look into that. So hopefully I'll have that Vipic closet and uh, you know what? I'll just show it to you real quick because we could do whatever we want here on clown live shows over anyway so let me do this vipic v22s give me that garment rack and then uh, okay i'm just gonna show this real real quick on today's show yes so this is the vipic v22s garment rack this is just a big old heavy duty yeah, yeah, go ahead. this is just an old video this is nothing we don't even need the audio here for this but uh yeah it's got the plastic brackets that snap into the uh the notches on the poles that's crazy expensive it's crazy expensive can you point me i'm not being this is not rhetoric can you please not rhetorical can you please let me know look it's got the two big bottom shelves and they're identical things. And then they're just held together by the two little square metal shelves in the center. That's what pairs these together. If you were to, I know this isn't in the carousel or anything, but as I say, if you were to navigate through the carousel to the Vipix store or just like, you know what, I'll send you the link if you want. But um, I'm saying this thing is $240 and it's nine feet long. It's 8.6 feet in length. And, uh, and, and living in the trailer, living in the park here, like living in the trailer park home, living in the trailer park home, like I've said on the show several times, this is wall to wall. You're looking at wall to wall. Like this, this isn't here. We can show, we can show it. It's nothing. It's nothing. This is like a foot and a half or two feet over here. Right. So wall to wall, this is about 13 feet, maybe 12 or 13 feet inside so I really want the long nine foot boy real bad. I really want that long nine foot closet. So if you if you see a comparable one, please don't hesitate to hit me up because I've been obsessed with exactly this. The V22S, it has all the hangers on it. Let's go back to a quick picture. The V22S is nine feet in length and you can buy the Vipic V2 and the V2 is just one of these with the two racks, like take the left, cut it in half and just the left side is the V2, right? And then they make the V22S. It's two V2s with these center shelves and, um, and, uh, it's nine feet long. It's 86, it's 104 inches uh, in, in length, right? 104 and a half inches in length. So let me do like a quick, uh, let me do like a quick conversion on that. Inches to feet. 
It's 104 inches. It's 104 and a half inches is 8.7 feet. You know what I'm saying? I want the whole wall in the bedroom to be this Vipic V22S garment rack. And um, I like it. I like it a lot. I do my do own due diligence. I've looked and looked. I haven't seen anything quite similar to this rack. And we all know these racks. You can get them flat. Christina Nietzsche has a bunch of similar poles and shelves, right? The difference between this one is that it has the, uh, are we not showing my screen? Hold on. Yeah, the difference with this one is that it has not the shelves, but the clothing rack bars. You know what I'm saying? And it's super long. We want to split it in half. I want to give Mima half. I want to take half. And uh, we want to put it up against the closet and then put some small drawers like what is in the center here with it. Isn't this awesome? And it's also... Uh, it's also 80 and 70.9 inches high, which is just over six feet. 70. So oh, just under, sorry. 70.9 inches is 5.9 feet high and it's nine feet long. It's nine feet long. I, I want it so bad. And it's 16 and a half feet out, which is about a t-shirt. I was like taking measurements. Sorry for banging my cup on the, uh, on the table, but I was, I was doing measurements of the, uh, of the, of the rack. I was doing measurements of the rack and 16 inches pretty much just sticks out. Like this is a, this is a bar. If you're looking closely, this is a hanger bar. And then this is another hanger bar. It's like one of those double closets. And this is supposed to lift up and be like higher. Uh, they're both adjustable, but they've sunk and like there's too much weight on them. I just have too many shirts. Uh, and so when I measured 16 and a half inches, it's about halfway between these two bars from this wall. Right. So it's perfect for like one row of shirts stacked instead of double out. It's going to make so much more room for activities in the bedroom. I really, really want to get this uh, closet. L let's take one more quick look at it. Uh, on today's show, and then uh, we're going to get ready to end the show here. But yeah, the Vipic V22S garment rack is a heavy-duty clothes rack. Let's see if there's any pictures. I forget. Uh, no pictures. No pictures. And look at this. This is the this is the V2S V2. So this is the V2, and it comes in white. And as you can maybe see, it's just the V22S without the shelf. It's just the V22S without the shelf. And this is $102. So to get two of these, to get two of these would be $206. And then they have the two little center shelves. So even if I bought two of these. Oh, what's the, oh, I never noticed that they come in different diameter rods. 20, oh, look at this. 25 millimeter diameter rod is $123. And then they have a 19 diameter, uh, a 19 millimeter diameter rod. I never noticed that. So uh, I bet then that makes more sense. $244, $246. If you were to buy two 25 millimeter diameter rod Vipic V2S garment racks, you're not going to get the center shelves and you're going to pay a little bit more. Let me jump back to V22S and see um, see if they say that it's 25 millimeters or not, the, the bars. Because I've been looking at this for months. I never noticed that they even said that the bars had a, a diameter worth considering. Uh, uh, okay, 9 feet by 17 inches by uh, just under 6 feet high. Capacity up to a thousand pounds, and this is just for clothing, so I don't think that that's a big deal. And then, uh, okay, does it say twenty-five millimeters? No, it doesn't. It does not. I got to assume, though. I've got to assume that they're twenty-five millimeter based on the price, because there's no way, right, that you would be able to get two V twos for less than the cost of a V two two S. But either way, I want these little shelves as well. I don't want two individual racks. I want one huge rack. And this, this is that, I think. 
Now imagine if I were to get two V2s and then my own shelves, I could for the center, I could make it as long as I want, really. But uh, that currently, yeah, a thousand pounds is a lot of clothes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, so this is where I'm at at the end of today's show. I really, really want to own this. I want this Vipic V22S garment rack. It's pretty sweet, I think. Um, and that's where I'm at with it. Uh, and also I'm, I'm trying to get somebody to accept it for me because I've contacted the company. You know, I went to the company's website. I went to their Facebook. I tried to contact them successfully. They were very professional and appropriate with me. Everything was great. The experience, the only sour note on the experience was that they won't send it to Canada. They won't send it to Canada. So that's that. That is that. Four large shelves, four small shelves, extra space on the top, and you can raise the bottom rack to uh, you can raise the bottom rack to put shoes under. Man, it's so, it's so perfect. It's so perfect. Mima likes it, and if Mima likes something, then uh, this garment rack is so large that it needs to come in two separate cartons. They may not arrive at the same time. When you receive one, please stay patient and wait for the other. It will arrive shortly after. That's uh, disheartening, but I don't know, understandable, I guess. So yeah, really easy. We're all familiar with these kind of like clips, right? On these meat shelves, these racks for butchers or whatever, kitchen shelves. That's a, that's what I'm most familiar with seeing these types of wire racks in, is in a restaurant setting or a professional like food setting or whatever. So to see them be repurposed for closets is super great. Uh, I really want this. All right, I could talk about it all day, but we're done. We're done talking about it. Yo, <clears throat> let me drink this water and then we're going to say goodbye. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Now to everybody that joined me on the show today, thank you so much for coming out and giving me your support here on Clown Live. Uh, we're going to keep doing Clown Live until the wheels fall off, man. So we're going to be back here again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to do a show. That's going to be our Wednesday show. Let's take a look at our Wednesday show Let's give a little teaser. What do we got going on on Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday show? Tribbits. We're going to talk radios. We're going to talk watches. We're going to talk Fantic. We're going to talk Ufi. And we're going to take a look at some B-roll. It's going to be a good show tomorrow. Looks like a pretty easy show here. And I'm stoked about that. All right. Now, now we say goodbye to everybody. June, I see you say goodbye just now. Thank you for saying, oh, yeah. Appreciate you coming out today. Forgotten Freshness, Soph, Stargazer. Please look around for that closet if you're still here watching. If you find any leads, let me know. I really want that really big Vipic V22S. The dimensions. It's the dimensions. They're perfect. Uh, okay, Stargazer. And also we had Tech Light. Yo, I'm so glad Tech Light's back. Uh, Stargazer, uh, oh yeah, Nakatomi, Nakatomi, uh, Children of the Night. When <laughs> I forgot I went crazy about that. Alfredo Castillo del Rosario, thank you so much for following. Uh, okay, Woolrich and Stargazer, Donald H., thank you for following. And then uh, we had Vicky earlier, when, an hour ago, when we were talking about uh, StreamYard and stuff. So that was really nice. And uh, yeah, uh, uh, James was here. Of course, James was here. Thank you, James. We Lex started following us today. So a lot of great stuff. A lot of great stuff here. I really appreciate everybody. Evans, of course, was here today. Uh, and that's we scrolled all the way up to the top of all the comments today. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining me, your host, Dragon Blaker, here on Clown Live. I'm going to be back tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to do another show. It is also going to be called Clown Live. I will still be Dragon Blaker. We're going to take a look at some great products. I love every one of you individually, equally, okay? Thank you so much for coming out and supporting this show. It means everything to us um, here on Amazon Live. Your engagement is what keeps it going out here, so we couldn't do it without y'all. You know what I'm saying? All right. Now with that, thank you everybody for watching much clown love whoop whoop. And we're going to catch y'all tomorrow. All right. Bye everybody.